We just added some uh, iron to the system and our cycle is about to start. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see the color change. This is the, uh, the good stuff that we like to use because we have higher pH than most people. We run about 7.6 all the time. I don't know if you can see, but you can see it looks like red dye in the water. That's perfectly normal. One of the things that red dye will do, that red coloration, will help to stop some of the algae growth. And all we did when we added this, and for our system, it's, it's just a hair under two ounces of, uh, of concentrate of uh, uh, chilled iron. We put it right into our, our bell siphon, and as the water drains out, it mixes it very well down in our sump tank. All right. I just wanted to show you that, let you see it coming out. Let's see that the coloration, uh, or this discoloration is normal. It is going to turn your water red, but that is perfectly normal. Um, and the reason I do it in my sump tank first, I put it in my bell siphon, let it go to the sump tank, and then let it get picked up and fed everywhere else, is I don't want to just drop it right in on my fish. Uh, now, whether or not it'll hurt them, I honestly don't know, but I'd rather dilute stuff before it gets there. Anyway, we're running about a uh, 400 gallon system total. A little bit more than 400 gallons, but always at say air to the small, you know, the, the lighter side. Um, so we put in, as 1.9 ounces. Uh, just get our system, it's iron deficiency back where uh, it needs to be. Now we still have a, a potassium deficiency, and we'll, we'll start having potassium tomorrow. And you'll see on the website, uh, there'll be some updates about that, exactly what we're doing. And when that happens, I hope to see this kind of stuff on this leaf gone. But you can see we've got dried edges that look almost burned. Uh, it's it's uh, brown spots right there. It's a potassium deficiency. So hopefully we'll see that clear up. And then on some of our younger growth, we've got the iron deficiency showing up. One thing we've been shooting a lot of lately has been uh, our celery. And we've eaten a lot of this celery recently, but this celery right here was the first one we planted. It was still close to 18 inches tall, but you can see we've been just picking away at it, cutting pieces off. There's another one, that's the second one we added about a month and a half ago. And of course, we've got two more here, and I expect it as summer comes on, uh, these celery will actually die. We'll wait and see. I'm not sure how well it's going to do in the summer heat here in Texas, uh, even being in aquaponics, which they like a lot of water, but we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, I hope everybody's having success with their system, and uh, we'll see you on the group.